Hello and welcome to Linguisticator. Today we are going to get started building out a whole series of memory palaces for learning French grammar. At Linguisticator we specialize in breaking languages apart into their component pieces and then mapping each of those pieces out as systematically and as exhaustively as possible. What we're going to do today is we're going to take our map of French grammar and start building out the memory palaces for it. Now before we get into the actual details of nouns and verbs and all of that kind of stuff, we need to create a kind of overarching memory palace that contains all of the different pieces, the parts and pieces of the grammar itself. This will serve as a kind of table of contents that will allow us to then connect different memory palaces by this one main memory palace. We have a kind of portal feature in McCunks VR, which is our software for building memory palaces. So before we get started building anything in VR, let's have a look at our map of French and see what the different parts and pieces of the grammar are because the structure of the map will determine the structure of the memory palace. Here we are at our map of French grammar. This map contains all of the patterns, variations, and exceptions within the grammatical system of French. Now on a very basic level, when you think about language and what it does, we need to be able to talk about things and we need to be able to talk about actions. In terms of grammar, we call things nouns and we call actions verbs. So these are gonna be two of the largest and most important sections on this map. Nouns are found over here. This is the nominal system of French and verbs are found down here along the bottom. This table here, mostly in green and these tables here down the right hand side of the map. All of this together forms the verbal system of French. It's the largest portion of the language. So we've got nouns, we've got verbs, and then we have all of the other additional bits and pieces that we need around these two main, main chunks. So we've got articles and adjectives, we've got pronouns and prepositions, we've got adverbs, conjunctions, particles, and we have numerals. Then we have how all of these different individual pieces come together into various syntax patterns and constructions. Constructions include things like how to express negation or hopes or anticipation. So this is also a fairly large section. So when we build out a memory palace, what we're doing now is we need to have a sense for what all these different parts and pieces are. And then later, when we build out the memory palaces for each individual section, we can sort of have a better sense of the structure of the nominal system or of the verbal system. But for right now, we just need a memory palace that contains all of the individual bits and pieces. So I'm gonna go into McCunks VR and put on the VR headset and start building out the memory palace as our kind of table of contents for this map. Okay, so here we are at our completed memory palace for the sort of table of contents of French grammar. So let me take you through and give you a little tour of what we have here. Over here on the left, we have some pedestals for the nominal system and the pieces related to the nominal system. So you can see that in the middle here, we've got a pedestal for nouns, and that is larger than the others because the nominal system is very, very large. And then we have the other individual pieces of grammar related to the nominal system. So we have articles, which specify things, adjectives, which modify things, and pronouns, which stand in the place of other things. If we pan over to the right, over here, we have our verbs and adverbs. So verbs are actions, adverbs describe actions, and verbs, again, are on a larger pedestal because verb, the verbal system of French is, is very, very large. If I spin around here, we have our four remaining additional uh, individual pieces of grammar. So we've got prepositions, conjunctions, particles, and numerals. And then finally, if I spin back this way, we have in the back here, we've got syntax patterns and constructions. And constructions is, is another large section, so this is on a larger pedestal. Now, one thing to, to note here that's very important is that this memory palace, as it is built here, is just a skeleton. This is a guided module, and so you would fill out these pedestals, you would put onto these pedestals mnemonic images for each of these different parts and pieces. And that's why we have on here what we call instructor spots. So this sort of glowing circle here is an instructor spot, and it contains the textual information that you want to replace 
with mnemonic images. So you would, for example, onto constructions, maybe you would put a, an image of a bulldozer. So you can add that from the library. You can, you can import images, both 2D and 3D images in this software, and put that onto this pedestal. And in another video, I'll show you how that works and go through and give you an example of what this memory palace might look like filled out with mnemonics. But this is the, the structure of the memory palace built. This is the skeleton. This is the guided module. So these sort of glowing circles here, these are the what we call instructor spots. Now you'll notice then that we have a kind of glowing orb above that also says constructions. And this is the portal. So this is the portal feature that I was talking about where we can then click, click the button to teleport and we can go into a separate memory palace that is now blank. So this is a new blank memory palace that we need to fill out for constructions in French. So in, in subsequent videos, I'll be showing you how we're going to take the individual pieces of French grammar and build out the memory palaces for the nouns and the verbs and the articles and so on, and the constructions, which is the one that we have here. But this is, this is how it works. So we've got a, a main memory palace with portals to the different parts and pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and head over to linguisticator.com to check out our course in French, our course in memory, and our other courses. The course in French actually includes access to the course in memory, which will teach you how to build memory palaces for different subjects. Our French course goes through our map of French grammar and explains everything in detail. You can download native speaker audio recording for all of the examples and then use a memory palace to store that information in your memory, retain it, and use it to develop fluency. If you like the maps themselves, we actually print these on fabric. You can, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get these on Amazon. These are really, really cool as objects and as resources. So you can, you can hang this on your wall or fold it up, put it in your pocket. They're really, really just cool objects, but then as resources, they do contain all of the grammar of French in one place. So please do check that out. And of course, check out McCunks VR. You can download a version for free from Steam and you'll soon be able to download the memory palaces that we are creating in these videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you very soon.